Germany. He's dyed his hair blonde. That's the worst attempt to at trick Hitler I've ever seen. I mean, good luck and all that, but... Lithuania, look at that, wow. Slender, shiny, round head. Looks like one of the toys my wife has banned me from shoving up my ass. I still find a way. Ugh. This is a song about the naughty step, which is uh, in Azerbaijan, you get sent to the naughty step for not hitting your kids. Belgium. Oh, I get it. Tintin's gone woke. Can't call the dog Snow anymore. Gotta be Snowy Flaky or something. What's the name of Tintin's friend? You know, the, um, they also just say I used to look like him. Big, big fella. Smelt of ham. Gorgeous. Captain Haddock? No, no, it wasn't him. Rusty John. It's a fella I used to know down the scrapyard. I, just, I, just, I, I like seeing stuff get crushed. You know, I'd be there. I just used to, people used to just bring their cars in with that thing and I'd just be there. Fuck it, yeah. Greece. Home of democracy. And bumming. Now, you know, in ancient Greece, they used to uh, talk about the different types of love. You know, they have this family love, platonic love between friends, and then the purest form of love there is between an old man and a very small boy. Then there are these people who fuck goats. Iceland. They look like Haim if their parents were related. Moldova. Listen, now, listen. This is what happens if you give learning support kids too much confidence. They don't know what to do with it. Oh, dyslexia is not really a disability. Sure, they can dance. Have you seen these fuckers at a spelling bee? Nil point. F Australia? What? When did they... What, Australia now part of Europe? Are they? Polit that's how political correctness is. That's how mental it's got. What, what next? i got to suck off my neighbour if I want whole milk? Because I'll do it. I don't even want the milk. I'm lactose intolerant. Bill's a good lad, though. Australia got such little culture that they begged to be in Eurovision. They wanted it. In Australia, a night at the theatre is seeing two cowboys chuck beer cans at dead dogs. Ah, oh, Sheila, bottles are cheating. <laughs> oh. Oh, she's got a set of pipes. It's a man. Huh? She's got full beard. Compared to my wife, he's clean shaven. See, this is what happens when they cut off the supply chain for HRT drugs. This would be a big win for menopausal women if she can bring it home. Man, this bearded bitch can sing. You know, she would have arrived in Italy fresh faced, and in two days is all it takes. Uh, Poland. Hey, yeah. Ha! Ha! I don't like it. Serbia now. This is a song about healthcare system, because they don't really have one over there. They're very anti-science in Serbia. Like, I remember I was over there just outside Belgrade, and I got involved in a car accident. This guy, this, he'd broken his leg, and the ambulance came. They just offered him a chamomile tea. And because I'm coming from a country, you know, free healthcare, I was sort of, I guess I was naive. I just reversed over his head. I don't know if he had insurance or not, but he's probably fine. Last one. Estonia. Look at this. Look at this fucking... Oh. I hope I never stumble across this guy in a men's restroom, for his sake. Fucking give that wolf a banana. So who won? Ah, oh, I guess that was inevitable. Sort of makes you... Sort of almost makes you wish Russia hadn't invaded. That's good for morale, I suppose. I don't know if uh, you know this, but the real turning point of World War II, it wasn't Stalingrad, it wasn't D-Day. It was when Britain won the Commonwealth Indoor Bowl Championship. Really gave the nation a boost. You know, fight them on the beaches. Fight them on the bowling greens. God bless them.